Ooh, it's early in the morning, man. <laughs> Let's see if this split sleeper thing really works. It's seven hours later. Let's look at the log and see what we got. Holy cow, we do have time to drive. We got 46 minutes. Drive time, one hour and 31 minutes on duty. So as you can see, I did a seven hour break instead of a 10 hour break, meaning I split my sleeper, but I have to be on sleeper to do this. And it has given me back what I had when I logged off last night. And that's it, that's all it gives you. It don't give you a full shift. So I could go and drive for 46 minutes right now and then I'd have to shut down for a three hour break to finish my 10 and then I'd have a full shift. This sucks. <laughs> it sucks. It's not good to split your sleeper, man. <laughs> Cause I guarantee you, I didn't get much sleep. And it didn't help me much either. All right, I just talked to that guy in that box truck and he said to pull in this first gate I thought we were supposed to go in that gate down there, but it looks like that pickup truck will be in the way. But he says we're pulling this first gate, so that's where we're going to go. We're going to deliver this load at 5 a.m. <laughs> All right, we are back into the dock and getting unloaded. And it is 5.46 a.m. <laughs> what time do you start work? <laughs> That's the thing about trucking, man. It's the hours. Sometimes the hours, man. Woo, trying to wake up over here. Okay, pop quiz. Pop quiz, one question. What's the worst kind of weather to drive in? Answer? <laughs> Bad weather. <laughs> Look at this rain, man. Holy cow. It's raining so freaking hard. It sucks driving in this stuff. Oh man. Yeah. Kind of can't go as fast and stuff, you know. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm on the East Coast. I'm in uh, was Virginia. Uh, not far from Virginia Beach. Hampton, Virginia is where this is. Getting unloaded. And I think it's time for breakfast. <laughs> And you know what we're having for breakfast, right? <laughs> well, for first of all, bang! I'm gonna drive forever. A bang blue raz. Okay, let's set this over here. And chocolate payday, but not just one chocolate payday. Two chocolate paydays. I had four chocolate paydays, but I ate two last night. So that leaves me two chocolate paydays for breakfast. <laughs> That's what kind of sucks about uh, shutting down uh, shippers and receivers. You got to have stuff to shut down with, you know. So I grabbed these last night in that last video. And so we're going to have some breakfast. <laughs> Not able to do my breakfast while I do my pre-trip, but I can still do my breakfast. And I'll have to wait to do my pre-trip. I have to wait for them to finish unloading me. Hey guys, there's one. That's a good one. Day cab job. NFI has a lot of freight. People tend to forget about them. But NFI has a lot of good daily home truck driving jobs, shuttle jobs. We're just shuttling trailers back and forth and stuff. Local jobs. And uh, I've heard they pay pretty good. So if you're needing a job like that, you might want to look into NFI. Well, we are currently unloaded. Just waiting on a load. But imagine doing a pre-trip in this kind of weather. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> All right, we are officially unloaded. I gotta show you guys something. It's Martin driver. I thought he was the dock guy in that Martin truck. Now he's needing that dock 
where I was parked. He came and knocked on my door. Hey, man, you ready? You can go. And I sat there and sat there because I was waiting on a load. Hey, man, you ready? You can go. I was like, oh, wait a second. Wait a second, I need my paperwork. He's like, well, you may have to go in there and get it from them. I'm like, them? I thought you were them. No, I'm the Martin driver. I need that duck. I was like, dude, there's a duck right there. He said he, said he couldn't get into that one. Nah, he says, no, nah, man, I can't buy that one, man. I ain't that kind of truck driver. <laughs> I said, all right, man, I'll move so you can get in this easy duck, man. Yeah. Sometimes I take the hard one to give them a little bit of a break because I know they can't back into them. That's all right. I'll move for you, buddy. All right. But anyway, hey, he was nice enough. He went and got my paperwork for me and everything else, man. He was being that dog bad. <laughs> he couldn't back into that one right there. He said, hell no. He wasn't going to try that. Anyway. The bad thing about Martin, they don't pay enough, man. Uh... I guess you get what you pay for. Anyway, man. It's weather though, man. Jeez, hold on. I guess to get out here and close these trailer doors in the weather. Oh, man, it's nasty too. Woo, we got to go close those doors, man. Then I'm going to tell y'all the bad news. <laughs> hey, that's, a, that's some bad news. Hold on. Ah oh, shit, my camera's getting wet. It is just raining cats and dogs out here, man. Freaking rain. Is the trailer clean? Pretty darn clean. Yeah, I had to get this camera out of that rain, man. I don't want it to ruin it. Anyway, so the bad news is, I've actually been unloaded for two hours now, and still no word on a load. <laughs> I've been waiting two hours, man. I know what the deal is, that dispatcher, she done got me over here on the East Coast. Now she got to try to get me back home, but she can't find a load going that way. Most likely, she can't find a load from here going back to Little Rock. I knew that was going to happen, man. That's too much distance to cover in too short of a, a period of time, you know? Uh, and from an awkward area. Why would anything out here be going to Little Rock? Well, probably some stuff, but probably not that much, you know? Oh, man. Oh, I was going to show you an annoying thing about this truck. That uh, It was doing it when I was getting out of the truck. I'm going to show you. The windshield wipers on these Volvos, they never work on intermittent. Let me show you. So we're gonna turn the wipers on intermittent and see what they do. Hold on. Oh, that's the Jake brake, hold on. See that? The Volvos are bad about that, man. They got several of them on the yard at this company. They got several trucks like, uh, that do this. They do that same thing and they're all Volvos. Anyway, so uh, that's the bad thing when it's raining. You have to set it all the way, you have to turn it all the way on or all the way off because if you try to put it on intermittent, it don't work. So that's another bad thing about when it's raining. Anyway, so hopefully we get a load soon and hopefully the load gets me home. <laughs> uh, I'm not betting on it though. <laughs> Just got a load. Sure did. Finally, about two and a half hours later. Okay, so uh, this load picks up about an hour from here at West Point, Virginia, going to Lewisburg, Tennessee, which uh, I believe is about 690 miles from here, and that's 355 miles from Little Rock, and the load delivers tomorrow at 11. Okay, so by the time I get there, I will have run... Um, Okay, tomorrow's Friday, so I'll probably run about 500 or so miles of the loaded miles today, leaving me with about three hours of driving tomorrow. Okay, and then I gotta pick up something, so I'll probably end up driving about 300 of those miles going toward the house. And I'll probably get up, I have to wake up Saturday morning and drive another hour home. 
that's not bad I can't complain about that that's the way this should work out but it only will work that way if she can find me another load from Lewisburg going home or within an hour of Lewisburg and she can do it within a reasonable amount of time before she goes home tomorrow as uh, if she can't find a load by the time she goes goes home tomorrow I'm gonna be screwed <laughs> I'll have to dead head home again 350 freaking miles which I'll do it if I have to. I don't want to, but I'll do it if I have to. Of course, if I have to, and I dead head home 350 miles, they'll take it out of my check. Let's go pick up this. Hampton, Virginia. They should call this Auto Repair Corner. Or Auto Repair Boulevard. Nothing but freaking automotive shops. If you need your shit worked on, this is the place to be. Corner of Powhatan and Pembroke, Hampton, Virginia. Well, we have made it to our pickup place to pick up our load. Yes, it is a paper load. West Rock. That means it's probably going to be super heavy. Going through those mountains and stuff is going to take a while to get it there. Uh, I don't know why every load at this company has to be so freaking heavy, man. Every freaking load, man. <clears throat> so heavy. <clears throat> Anyway, yeah, they make a lot more money off these heavy loads. Anyway, I want to get this load picked up and get my butt home. So we can do a live video this Saturday. We got to pull in next to that trailer there on the end and wait to get loaded. As soon as the dock comes open, we can pull into a dock. Oh, man. It's going to be one of them long waits, probably. Long weight and heavy load. Uh, this is where they told me to park, but I want you to look at this shitty place. Look at that. Water all over the place. Just a great big freaking mud hole. Anyway, oh man. Hey, I'm getting hungry! Candy bars ain't enough for breakfast, man. <laughs> I am freaking hungry. I know, I know. Some of you guys are going to be saying, you're always hungry. <laughs> oh, man. I want to get this load and get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> Melissa's belly. Got to have help back in. Look. <laughs> that dude's standing up on the other side of the trailer is backing him in there. And he's backing him right into this truck. <laughs> he's backing him into that other truck. I hope he, I hope he notices it, man. The dude's daily telling him to come back, come back, and there's a truck behind him right there. I'm like, dude, he's got to see that truck back there. And he just stopped listening to that dude and drive that truck himself. That's why he can't listen to other people, man. Now, look, he done, He realized he got caught. He walked it off. He said, the hell with that shit. <laughs> he's trying to back that dude into somebody. Yeah, he figured it out. He's pulling out now, man. That dude was trying to back him into that other truck, man. That's crazy. Dude's supposed to be helping him back up, and he's backing him right into a truck. Anyway, so I gotta back in next. I just got an important phone call from a beautiful Russian girl. <laughs> She's not too happy about my situation. She said it's gonna be fixed. So, anyway, yeah, she said she's been sick. She's been off. She's been sick, man. And uh, she came back into the office and saw my uh, my pay statements. Were, were that what they were paying me? And she was like, "Holy crap, what's happened?" She called me. What's going on? What the hell? I was like, I know, I almost had to freaking quit. And she's like, holy crap, I gotta fix this, you know? But yeah, <laughs> or I'll, I'll have to leave, you know? But I believe something's gonna be done now. Ooh, I'm so glad she's well. I, I wouldn't be able to, I don't know what I'd do without her. <laughs> I'm backing into this dock. I want you guys to see how close this is. Can you see that? You see how close my trailer is to his mirror and his truck? Look on this side. There is no freaking space at all. Holy cow, it's tight. Yeah, holy crap. This is very freaking hard to back into. It's because there's no freaking space. Let me show you guys. Look at that, man. And then look over here. There's hardly any space at all. And I bumped his mirror. I bumped his mirror uh, earlier trying to back in here. Good thing I didn't hurt it, you know. But, I mean, there's such little space between the trucks. 
Oh man, <laughs> every place we go with something like this, and this load will probably be, probably be super heavy. Oh, it's gonna be a mess. Hopefully, I get home this weekend though. Oh, I'll get home. <laughs> I have an update on the job situation. I was that close to leaving. I'm not gonna kid you. I'm not gonna kid you. So, oh, hey, people ask about this 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 piece of the truck that's up here in the sleeper i need to throw that away that is i gotta show you but i gotta tell you what happened with my job situation hold on i keep forgetting to talk about that that is the bottom cover from underneath the truck okay when you buy one of these trucks new they have a cover under the front underneath the front of the truck that protects stuff or something like that and driving through those scrap yards man bottoming out and and them huge potholes and stuff cracked it and i had to tear it off but it's already been to the shop since that happened and they just left it off but anyway i need to throw that thing away anyway that's why that's up there anyway so big update on the job situation so the russian girl beautiful lovely russian girl returns after being sick and she's like what's happened to your paychecks what's going on i'm like i know yeah yeah so anyway uh she basically they basically just threw a stack of money at me and said you're not staying you're not leaving <laughs> you're not leaving you're not leaving me oh man so all right i guess i can't leave right now <laughs> that's too much money to be just walking out on anyway so uh yeah so they uh yeah she got on the wire and made sure they are getting me home and all that and and i got a huge raise and everything so like i said basically threw a stack of money at me and said you're not going anywhere <laughs> all right so it looks like i'll be staying here for a little while but uh, you know but the thing is i mean no matter how much they pay you eventually the thing with being out on the road and not having much of a home life or you know a normal life it does take a toll on you after a while i mean there's a lot of sacrifices we make it's not just being gone but it's all the other stuff you know i mean not being able to eat healthy every day and some people could say well that's partly your fault for not having a refrigerator in your truck yeah, but hey, then then you have to eat a sandwich or, or you have to eat whatever's in that refrigerator, you know, if you don't eat the crappy stuff. But I mean, it's not just that. It's also not being able to get exercise. It's such a chore to do your laundry out here. You got to find a truck stop with uh, laundry facilities and you can't shower every day uh there's so much stuff i mean there's so much there's so many sacrifices we make out here on this road you can't have much of a family well there's guys that do there are guys that have wives and kids okay and do this job but they're missing out on so much you know it makes you wonder is the sacrifice really worth it you know so uh i i don't know there's so much that goes into this job but i mean yeah the money can be good it's real good for me now really good but uh even though the money is so good at this point it's like i don't know eventually it will take its toll you know that's what i told her too i said you know it's eventually no matter how much you pay me eventually at some point i'm gonna want to uh have a normal life you know and at least be home every week you know Sad, sad thing about it though is it, it is it's hard to make much money in this industry being home every week unless now wait a second i have to i have to recant some of that because like the guy ed that does the the drives the tomato truck you know the road go truck he's making good money and he's home every week okay and there's some shuttle drop shuttle the shuttle jobs out there we we need to start talking about that more shuttle driving jobs where you just shuttle a trailer out drop it and bring another one back some of those jobs pay really freaking good i have found some i'm talking about uh 12 15 1600 dollars a week man that's pretty darn good for just driving a truck and dropping hooking a trailer every day that's all they do they drive a trailer out drop it hook another one and drive back that's all they do and i've been finding some of those jobs so anyway and those guys are home every night and off on the weekends okay so they're out there they are out there so anyway like i'm saying man 
guys and gals this job takes its toll on you after a while been out there on that road for months at a time especially guys that have been out there for years man you can imagine that man being out there for years and years at a time but anyway so we spend our lives in a truck we sacrifice a lot but we do we do make good money you know and uh you find the right place they'll pay you really well but you are sacrificing a lot so i guess that's another video to make now i need to get low you guys just missed horns this guy in this truck right here was parked next to me this russian dude he hit the truck next to me man this, I, I said i said this was too close man the, the parking is way too freaking close he's trying to back up and fix it i'm not gonna get out and have him see me filming it though Mm, I, like I said, I clipped his mirror a little bit earlier, too. And he was really cool about it. He's trying to back up and fix it. Mmm, man. Yeah, the parking is really messed up. I mean, it's like this between your mirrors. If you don't hit each other. Oh, shit. Oh, oh I thought he hit me, but he didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he hit the truck next to him trying to pull out, man. It is messed up. I, I ho Hopefully, he just hit the mirror. Look at what you gotta do to get out of here, man. You gotta squid you gotta squiggle back and forth and get it just right to be able to pull out. I don't know if you can even pull out. How the hell is he gonna pull out with his doors open? Hold on. Oh, he didn't hit me. I thought he might. Yeah, see when you got your doors uh when you got your doors open and pinned back, it's like it's really not enough room or space between because it makes it it makes a little additional space on the on the side of the trailer it just almost ain't enough to get out i mean it's very hard to get out if you got a truck on each side you know and so luckily he's pulled out so maybe i won't have anyone next to me when i pull out yeah yeah i probably will too oh there's a truck that's gonna back in i think i hope he don't hit me though yeah it's really hard to get in and out of here really really hard mm yeah i was just looking i think he clipped that guy's mirror yeah i don't see any damage to that truck i guess he i guess he clipped the mirror the guy gave him to go ahead you know he didn't dirt he didn't hurt anything too bad i guess <laughs> uh oh we got the green light you know what that means time to proceed to the garden shack to get our bills and hit the road Western Express trying to back up on the scales and we in a line, man. He gonna end up backing into me, man. I hope he don't back into me, man. Don't back into me, Western Express, man. Come on, man. Don't back into me now. He trying to back up on the scale. He forgot to pull up on the scale. Now he's trying to back back up on the scale so they can weigh him. Come on, man. Get it right, man. Come on, get it right, Western with these Western Express drivers, man. They were getting to where they're worse than Swift ever was. Now look for scale. He still ain't on the freaking scale. She's trying to tell him to get on the damn scale. Get on the scale, man. So we can get out of here. Anyway, so she's trying to tell him to get on the scale. He gets out, goes to the guard shack, says, I'm on the scale, I'm on the scale. And she's saying, no, the front of your truck's not on the scale. He just isn't understanding this, man. He's holding everybody up. All right, we are loaded, got the paperwork and everything, and we are headed out of here within five minutes. That Western Express guy, he was here 20 minutes just trying to get on the scale. Goes to show you get what you pay for. I bet you next time don't want to hire the Russian mob. Guess where we's at? <laughs> we had the same pilot we was at last night. That's right. You know what, what it's time for. Time to get some food, some fuel, and weigh this damn load. <laughs> The pilot where those little girls that work in there were freaking out about me wearing a face mask like they'd never seen anyone wear one before and you know you know these son of guns up here they all went that you know went for that one guy because they were so they were so concerned about that you know what and not a single one of them wearing a damn face mask i got to get here and get me some food man I'm well, so much for that shit, the freaking pump, the damn keypad on it's so screwed up you can't type in your numbers. I gotta go inside and get them to turn the pump on. I think we're gonna weigh the truck across the street at the Loves. This truck stop's a freaking... 
I was one of them guys that was over there at the, at the Anheuser Busch place. <laughs> you see that bumper? So we fix gonna pull up on this scale. Y'all can look. I can't look because I'm driving. I have to pay attention. We're gonna pull up on this scale and wait this low and hope it's right. It's 43,000 pounds of paper. And I got to run in here and get me some Arby's if this lows, man. Got to get me some Arby's. Hopefully this don't take too long. Don't fall out of the truck. First way. Thank you. It's a nice little love right here. I almost said pilot. So I'm gonna get the two for six Arby sandwiches, beef and cheddar. I already got some chocolate paydays. I bought them at the pilot. <laughs> yeah. Hope this weight ticket's right. Hope the weight is good. Houston, we have a problem. You see that? 13. What the hell? It's still upside down. 13, 13, 140 on the steers, 29 on the drive, 33, 5 on the trailer. So we're just gonna slide the tandems forward about three or four notches, put more weight on the back, and hope it doesn't put it too far over on the trailer. Hopefully that straightens it out. And yes, the fifth wheel is all the way back, Kenny. That is a fine sandwich. <laughs> Beef and cheddar. We're gonna pull over here along this curb and get out of the way. And we're gonna commence the sliding tandems. Mm. I thought we were on the eighth hole. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Needs to come forward about three. We're gonna move it to about the fifth hole. See what that does. Hope hopefully it's not too over on the trailer. Need to slide this back a little bit. Not too much, just a little. Hopefully that'll do it. <laughs> if it even moved at all, sometimes it'll slide and you think it moved. Damn, it moved quite a bit. See that? Where we at? That puts us on what? One, two, one, two, three. Shit, man. Nah, we're gonna bump it up a little. That's a little too much. I want it to go back at least one more. Put it on four or five. Now we're gonna move it forward. One or two. One or two is fine. Hopefully this is right. I don't feel like messing with this thing all night. So. It is 43,000 pounds though. Like that scrap metal load. You guys could have told me I had cheese on my face. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. That's where I want it. Five. Okay, we're on the fifth hole. If that's not right, I don't really know what to do because the fifth wheel is all the way back. 
This truck's just real heavy on the front. Okay, let's try this again. It's a reway. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Let's go get this weight ticket. Yeah, I'm eating Doritos. <laughs> Spicy Doritos. They have them in the uh, bags of them. They have big bags of them. And here in this loves two for six, so I grabbed two bags. <laughs> We're still over on the front. Twelve, what does it say? Twelve nine forty. And then we got twenty-nine on the drive, thirty four on the trailer. I'm half tempted to just run it. I mean there's not much I can do. I mean it's so freaking heavy on the front, man. In the back, but not in the middle. It's the same thing again. But not as bad as that as that scrap metal load I did that was in that first uh, vlog style video. Now, it depends on where the weigh stations are. But this has got me in a position where it's either run it or take it back tomorrow and not get home, not get any miles for the freaking week. Okay. And... So, take it back tomorrow, not get any miles for the week, not get home, or just run it like that and take a chance, you know? Man, this is what sucks about this freaking job. Every freaking load, nearly every freaking load, 99% of them are, are freaking overweight, you know? You risk your damn CDL doing shit like this. If that other freaking job calls me, I'm, I'm, I, I, don't, I think I'm probably going to have to take it, yeah. Even though they they paid me more, they're paying me more money as of right now. They give me a big raise and shit, but still, this kind of shit right here, man. Ah, oh, man. Check out this little parking lot I found here in the middle of this town. <laughs> this is called Glade Spring, I think. Uh, Glade Spring, Virginia. Is that right? I forgot what state it is. I think it's Virginia. Right next to this marathon. It's across from this petrol, but you don't really see it unless you really, really look. I was just about to pull into that petrol, knowing they have no parking. And then I saw this. And I said, holy cow, we got a parking lot. So this is where we're going to shut down for the night. I just taught this JB Hunt driver here a new little trick about finding him. Yeah, he followed me. <laughs> That's how he found this place. I'm gonna go over to this marathon over here and see if I can I can find something. Uh, kind of scope out what I'm gonna have for breakfast. I could go across to the petrol in the morning. I don't know. Subway. <laughs> I got a Reese's tree and a Chico stick. <laughs> I like Chico sticks. I had to try the Reese's tree. Anyway, I guess I could go across there to the truck stop in the morning to the Petro and have breakfast over there. You kind of get burnt out on Subway after a while. There's a place called Pizza Plus right there. Might be good. Never know. Huh. There's a Dollar General right across behind the Pizza Plus over here. I don't feel like walking over there though. Anyway, one thing one thing I'll never understand is why didn't why they don't put chocolate on the Chico sticks. Milk chocolate Chico sticks that would be good with it. Oh man, I'm tired. <laughs> I've been going since early this morning. Oh my word, it's been a long day. So anyway, yeah, I just got a very important phone call from someone and uh, yeah. She wasn't too happy about the stuff that's been going on with me lately either with this job. Uh, so, and she was sick, you know, so she just got back and, uh, or just got well enough to come back. And 
So, uh, she's been making some calls and making some things happen. And so things are about to really change here. Big surprise coming. <laughs> you guys are going to want to stay tuned. Yeah. Oh, man. So, uh, anyway. Yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on what's going on and everything. But I am so freaking tired. <laughs> Glad I found this little parking lot though, because I was worried about finding parking. It's what, 11 o'clock? Yeah, 11.30? Gosh, yeah, this time of night, it's really hard to find truck parking. I mean, every place that has a has truck parking is just packed, you know? Trucks are parked on the side of the highways and everything else this time of night. Man, there's just not enough truck parking in this country. I don't know. Anyway, there's a lot of stuff that we don't have that we need. Anyway, so that's going to be it for today. I am too freaking tired to even think. <laughs> oh, and then tomorrow we're going to be working on getting me home so we can do a live video this Saturday. That's right, live video between 7 and 9 p.m. on Saturday. That'll be fun. Anyway, so hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Until next time.